Beertubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Today we're going to take a look at one of the beers that I brought back from Halifax, Nova Scotia. A beer that originally hails from Eureka, California. We are going to take a look at Lost Coast Brewery's 8 Ball Stout. Now, 8 Ball Stout from Lost Coast Brewery is an oatmeal stout. This rich, robust stout is made with pale malted barley, oatmeal, roasted in chocolate malts, Pacific Northwest hops, crystal clear mountain water, and ale yeast. Yay! And it's got a government warning, according to the Surgeon General, women should not drink, yeah, whatever. Uh, don't drink while you're pregnant. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool to actually try this. It's got a different sized bottle. It's a 12 ounce bottle, but it doesn't at all look at something like uh, your normal 355 milliliter bottle, or 341 in this case, where it's, it's wider, Maybe not even wider, but it's it's certainly more squat. So it's a very straight bottle to have. Now, I picked up an entire six-pack, I believe, of this. And I two of them didn't even come back from Nova Scotia. They were great. I, 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 so I have had this before. Uh, I gave one the Heist Almighty. And I've got... Oh, it was a four-pack. And I've got one in the fridge for beer mail. So... Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's dip into this one. I love stouts. I love oatmeal stouts. So let's give this a try. Cap on it, of course, is a nice Lost Coast Brewery cap. This one, there's a lot of condensation on the outside of the bottle because I let it warm up first. So it should hopefully bring out some more of the flavors. I'm going to give that a pour in my Sam Adams glass. Whoa. -oh. One moment, please. Okay, so now that we've had our technical difficulties, let's finish pouring here. And I will say that that gave me a lot of head, but I was a bit of a dumbass in pouring it because I poured it way too fast and way too fancy. It's not milk. Anyway, uh, big poofy head, big mocha colored brown head on that one. And um, very much so. It's got a, a cloudy, pillowy appearance. But that could be partly because of how I poured it and I got a lot of head. Um, it's very dark, but there is some light coming through it. There is some reddish tones to it. I can see here that it's unfiltered because I am seeing a lot of sediment in that. Holy crap. Is there that flashlight here? Oh, I have a flashlight around here. I don't have it here anymore. But I can see a ton of sediment, like just little specks, not like big chunks of floaties or anything. Um, it's not bad. I mean, if you didn't look closely, you wouldn't notice that it was unfiltered. But to me, being an unfiltered stout kind of speaks, makes me a little bit more excited because I'm not afraid of those crap, the crud floating around there, like some high school mighties might be. <laughs> I don't mind the high, I don't mind the floaties at all. Um, so looking at this, it looks really nice. Maybe not quite as dark as I was expecting from an oatmeal stout. But um, definitely looks like a really nice looking beer. So let's give it a sniff. Bit of a demerara sugar sweetness, some chocolate. It's almost, there's a little bit of coffee in there, but it's almost like this gourmet coffee, chocolate. Demerara sugar kind of almost forms like a smell dome, if you will. They, they blend together so well, they're almost indiscriminate from each other and make up their own kind of smell. It's really, really nice. There's a slight amount of earthiness from some hops in the very back. Mm. It's one nice smelling hot and one nice smelling beer. As far as like some of the oatmeal stouts that I've had in the past, it's it's rather mild uh, for smell wise, but it really really it's got a very nice smell. It's got to be one of the best smelling beers, uh, the oatmeal stout style that I've had so far, and I've had a couple. That's a really nice smelling beer, very inviting, smooth. It's almost like chocolate and brown sugar and molasses. Mmm. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, without further ado, down the hatch. Mmm. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. That's nice. That is nice. Very smooth. Very chocolatey. It's not too thick. It's not too light. It rides the balance perfectly well. Got a little bit of lingering coffee bitterness in the very back. Mixed in with a little bit of this earthy bitterness. What did they use for hops? Pacific Northwest. You know, for being what they would call Pacific Northwest, I would think that it would use one of the seas or something like Cascades. There's no discernible grapefruit note. It, it really tastes like it's earthy instead from the roasted bitterness and the coffee. They might have used some in the very back for, for blending in. But either way, it blends in quite well and you don't notice. Um, that's really nice. Um, big on the chocolate. Very dark baker's chocolate notes. A flavor that just fills the palate. Oh, yeah. Very smooth. Very creamy. But it's not big and thick. It's almost akin to, like, Sam Smith's oatmeal stout. But... This one almost comes to me as maybe a little bit better of tasting. Mm. I'm going to sit down with this one. I'll be right back with some thoughts. Be right back. And I'm back with Lost Coast's 8 Ball Stout. So, what did I think about this one? 8 Ball Corner Pocket. I like it. It is a really nice stout. I'm a big fan of stouts as well as my IPAs. I love my big malty beers as well as my big hoppy beers. And when it comes to big malty beers, um, I guess it's not incredibly big malty, but it's a very thoroughly enjoyable, easy to drink, and easy to session oatmeal stout. It is not as big and hearty or as robust as the McCausland's oatmeal stout. Uh, sorry, St. Ambrose oatmeal stout. Um, this one's a lot smoother but it has taste up the nines, a big chocolate note, um, just a nice smooth blend of flavors and a nice creamy smooth body. It's just a beautiful beer through and through. Um, it's, it's great, but it's not incredibly wowing, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm just, I'm just, I got the feeling that the number that's popping into my head is high 4.0. Um, it's not quite as good as, like, if you're comparing stouts overall that I've had, it's not quite as good as, like, Guinness Foreign Extra or the, um, the Scottish stout from Innocent Gun, the Irish cask. That was absolutely beautiful. But this one is really nice to try, and it's really nice to actually finally try a Californian stout, because um, I'm pretty sure I've had one. I think I had a Lord's Sputin. Yeah. Uh, that was an Imperial stout. This one, it's really nice to, get, to try and... Ever since I, like, I like the picture on the front of the bottle. I might save the bottle, uh, although it's got a blemish on it. Um, I, I really like the bottle, and ever since I first saw the logo and everything for it, I just like, oh, that looks like an awesome stout. I don't know why. It just sort of popped in my head. It's like, hey, eight balls. I love pool. All right. Whatever. Anyway, uh, high 4.0 for out of 5 for me. Uh, thanks for watching Maxwell Star's beer review of Lost Coast Breweries 8-Ball Stout. We will talk to you later, and thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>